Hello everyone. Today I'm doing posters. I have done the, the blue and the white and I'm now going to join in the, um, the red. And I have my own way of doing this. I put the way I'm going to do this. Um, into there. I put the hook through one of the spaces there. I've made a little slip knot. tight and then I just fasten it in and then I take the hook out and I take the end this is the end that I'm doing here and I go through the top of the stitches I slot it through the top of the stitches like that I go through about five stitches that's enough to secure it three four five there so you can see i've slotted it in around the um the top where i'm going to work and as you're working over that pull this out you don't see those where that's slotted through because you're working in the same color and i'm doing triple crochets into this one here <coughs> I get a bit closer here well, the triple crochets in the UK I'm using UK terms because naturally that's where I'm from so I'm doing Seem to be using that wool stone in the back. I put it in the floor there. <laughs> Two. That's three. I'm not sure how many I did. One, two, three, four, five. I'm doing five triple crochets into that space. And I'm going into the next space and I'm just going to do a, a double crochet into that space. I think if you're in the, in the United States or the country, I think they call that one um, single crochet. I think they call what I call triple crochet, double crochet. But I get mixed up. I'm using both terms, so I'm using the UK term. So I'm doing a double crochet into that stitch and then doing five triple crochets again into this one two three four five There. and there you can see that where I slotted that that wool through you can't see it it's it's hidden by the um the stitches that I've just put in there and it's the same when I end I won't be doing that with this one when I end because this is only the last color I'm doing the last round I'm doing but take when I joined in the white I did the same with that I joined the white over the um the blue and so on and that's how I join in different colours so I don't have to sew them afterwards. Saves quite a bit of time uh, actually, but this is what I'm doing at the um the moment because um like I have a an offer on um A B and I've just made that stitch small there. <laughs> Put that in. Wait, anything I can put onto my A B shop between now and midnight tonight well it started on the 24th actually I'm going up to the 27th um, they reduce um, their fees by 80% so I'll only pay 20% of um, whatever I would normally pay so I'll do that into there and put that down for one minute so I'm going to do a lot of coasters um, to put onto my you know for the coronation uh, ones 
I'll be selling these for um, $3.99 for a set of four. That's what I'm putting up at the moment. Well, boy, that will lay out the way. So I've got to, I'll just put it on the floor. I've got it wrapped around a, um, a wire on the, um, the floor. But I've just finished this little cardigan here. This was to go on my shop, but um, a lady called Karen has bought this. So I've finished this, Karen, and I've got your address and the email. You sent me uh, your address, so I'll be popping along to the post office later on to, um, to post this before the last post at four. It's actually just after two now, so I'm probably going to do, go out and do a little bit shopping because I do need milk and bread and stuff like that. So I'm going to do a little bit shopping and I'll pop along to the post office while I'm out. So I've got a little bit of something on there. <laughs> so anyone that was hoping to see that on my shop, it's not on my shop because Karen's bought it. It's a little boy's cardigan, that one. Um, I'll put that one to one side then. I'll show you what else it is on my shop. There's not a lot on at the, um, the moment, but I'll pick them up. I just dropped all those out the packet. Those are the other um, coasters. These are the ones I've got on, on my shop. These are the um, the Mercerized cotton ones. These are up for seven ninety nine because they are Mercerized cotton is very expensive. So I wouldn't put them up for any less than that. So that's a set of that's one set of four up there, and another set. Of four, the different keep one out the different colorways. You can see this one has white in the center and white on the edge. That one has red in the center and red on the edge. I did have another one with blue in the center and blue on the edge, but um, Jack bought those ones. So that's those two sets on there, and then I have this little sweater. This is a 19 inch. The basket, the two by four basket stitch, this one. Um, I think I've got this up for £10 on um, AB at the moment. I might reduce it to, to £9 because it has been up a little while. So that's a 19 inch one. Down there. And this is the Blackberry. The blackberry ones, another one that's been up a little while. Um, it's got, you can see the, um, the blackberry stitch where the, the two rows where I started this off, um, the six rows of the berry is done in white and the two rows that you knit go around the berry so you get the colour. I was going to do some little cardigans in this like with um, I mean, the colours pink and the berry part with white or blue with white or any other colours, but um, this one's up. This one, I think it measures about 23 inches. I'm, I'm not sure. I've got a tape measure somewhere. It's quite wide. Actually, it's 13 inches because it's about 26, but it wouldn't fit a 26. You'd want it for up to a 24 inch, that one. That one's up for £14. I think it is £14. I'll have to check these prices on um, eBay because I haven't really looked lately. And this was the little jacket I finished not long ago. I just put this one up. This one's up for £15. This is um, a 22 Yes, this one's up for a 22 it, I do charge a little bit more for these type of patterns, the, um, the blackberry, because they do take up quite a bit longer to knit because of the stitch. You don't have to be careful when you do the, um, the pattern where you drop the stitches for the, um, the blackberry and they do take a little bit more wool than when you're knitting a, um, an ordinary one because of the stitch, because they're actually there's about 10, when you're knitting the length, there's, there's actually 10 rows to the inch where just ordinary plain knitting like the, um, the 
the little blue one like this one I showed you there's seven and a half stitches to the inch so those ones do take quite a little bit more wool and I have just finished the 20 inch the little cream 20 inch one was the last one that I had to knit so I'm going to sort out the PDF for this one and get it printed up but not straight away because I do have some other things to do um, first and it does take me quite a time to type up those um, PDF patterns so that's what I'll be doing but in the meantime until midnight tonight or a little bit before midnight because I have to give myself a little bit of time to put them up onto um, AB I'm doing nothing else but these because I want to get as many as I can done and get that 80% off the selling fees that AB is offering to me and these are the blue in the middle is acrylic because I don't have any um, cotton that colour but the white is cotton and the red is cotton and it's just ordinary cotton it's not the mercerized um, cotton it's just the ordinary what I call drab looking cotton the mercerized has a much better I don't know whether you can see putting them next to each other you can't really tell on there but these ones have like a sheen to them they look much nicer actually these I think I might keep some of these for myself um, do one or two for for myself but I do have other colours in that I'm going to do some other courses because this is not the only pattern I do in, in, in them I do quite a lot of different patterns different flower patterns but this seems to be the most popular one but I do have a lot of other patterns that I've made up myself for doing these coasters. Um, I used to give them away to a, I used to go out with a lot of girls for a bingo night. There used to be quite a lot of us and I did them a lot of all different patterns for those girls. So I'll have to hunt out some pictures because I never wrote down what I did and the ones I made up myself. So I do have other patterns in them but uh, I'm going to have to sort them out. But in the meantime, because I'm trying to get as many of these ones as I can done before the um, the king gets his crown. <laughs> this it is Aaron. This um, what I'm using as well, and it doesn't slide along the hook as easily as the what the mercerized cotton does. So. I'm going to finish this for now because I need to pop out to the um, to the shops and the post office and I'll catch up with you another time. So thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all later. So bye for now.